Leonardo DiCaprio, the pretty privilege of being a creepy old man, has broken up with yet another 25-year-old girlfriend. So he's a creepy old man for dating women under 25. So what would not make him a creepy old man? Dating somebody who's 45 like yourself? Him and Camila Maroney dated each other for four years before reportedly their donezo broke things off. I'm really hoping it was Camila that broke it off. But anyway, I will bring you back it to wasn't. this chart. It wasn't. It was him. So this was made in 2017. This is from user at Trust Little Brother on Reddit. Phenomenal showing chart. Showing the ages of Leonardo DiCaprio's girlfriend and his age slowly climb up. Leonardo DiCaprio, still at the age of 47, has not dated a woman older than 25. He started dating Camilla when she was just 20 and he was 43. And I get it from Camilla's side of things. It's like, okay, well, if I was under 25 and Leo wanted to date me, I'd probably go for that too. But yep. from Leo's side, things when i was 25 even i couldn't imagine dating somebody in their 20s okay i i, I have to call these chicks out when they make this argument like oh if that was me i couldn't imagine dating somebody in their 20s that's because men and women are different right i hate to tell you this but men and women have different needs different desires and just a completely different biology right um, whereas women, younger women, definitely generally tend to date older, right? It's just women and women, period, tend to date older men, whether they be five years older, 10 years older, 15 years older, 20 years older. They just tend to date older men, whereas uh, women don't, don't generally like to date younger men, especially more than five years younger, 10 years younger, because um usually women do mature faster than guys do right they just they they're more calibrated socially they know you know um they just they know themselves better right just because they get so much attention and validation and uh, they're in they're such social butterflies from such a young age whereas men are definitely not socialized really until we get older right into adulthood where we're forced out into the work world that's really where we develop our maturities when we start getting out there and staking our own claim so our needs are different but when women make this oh i you know say that stuff like this like, i can't imagine if i was 45 dating a 20 22 year old girl blah, blah. <sighs> again we're different we have different needs we're set up differently we're wired differently and um throughout time men have desired younger women right uh, young, uh, younger women have desired older men. That is the way it is. I mean, it, even if you go to your basic online adult film site, nobody is typing in like, let me let me watch some 55-year-old porn, right? <laughs> let me see some 55-year-olds out there getting naked. No, nobody's watching that unless you have some sick fetish, right? I, uh, overwhelmingly, like 95% of the men and women for that matter that are on these, uh, you know, porn sites are looking at teen teen porn like you know women who are like 18 plus um or women who are like not even 21 yet that's what the majority of the searches are focused on right hate to break it to you my golden rule is go and date an older person but you have to be at least 25 i just feel like that you have to be at least 25 that's not the way the law works look at this dumb broad that is not the way the law works if you are at least 18 you're legal in this country. And in some states, it's 17. In some countries, it's 16. Frontal lobe isn't even developed yet. Yeah, you're, she's saying your frontal lobe isn't developed yet. You're still, you're still a child and, you know, when you're at that age. Uh, maybe, maybe you were, right? I mean, a lot of these women, just because they're so, uh, they're, they're so full of themselves, uh, and they can't get beyond themselves, they think everybody is just a mirror reflection of themselves, right? There are plenty of mature women out there who are old souls, and it's us usually these younger women who tend to date much older men. Um, you'll find that these these younger women who want to date much older men are very mature. They're, they're not like, you know, coming out with pigtails and like, oh yeah, let me do my Snapchat. No, they're not doing that. These are women who don't even like social media. Um, they're just very... Uh, very yeah like old souls they're very intelligent that way and um same thing with my girl right she's just very very mature and way more mature than much older women who are my age that, that are my peers i mean that i often see in my comments hating that are like throwing uh throwing shade like we're still in seventh grade and they're still in pigtails i mean that's really sad and pathetic i mean the fact that this woman here is like in her mid to late 30s maybe her 40s to doing this video uh <laughs> 
she's she's on TikTok. So yeah, are you saying that you're all of a sudden this mature woman of the world now on TikTok covering celebrities? I don't think so. You know, we still are very much kids in our early twenties, and I think I don't know. That's the vibe for me. What do you think? Yeah, she's saying your frontal. I, the, these women are making the same arguments. Like, oh, the Leo. The reason why he doesn't want to date these women over twenty-five because their frontal lobe's not developed yet. Well, you know what? I I think all of us in the red pill community have seen these women over twenty-five. Once their frontal lobe is developed, right, they turn into the the most conceited, most bragging, most arrogant, uh, most narcissistic creatures on the planet that nobody, even women, don't want to be around. Right. They get fully indoctrinated with the feminism, the wokeism, the leftism. You know, they're uh, they're wearing their pride jerseys everywhere. Yeah, nobody wants to deal with that. Right. Both men and women. So um, based on that, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Leo thinks the same thing. You could have these women over 25 because not saying all, I'm just saying most from what I've seen. It's not so much the women over 25. It's the ones that once they hit their 30s and 40s, 50s, those single ones. Oh my gosh, what a nightmare. We call him the DG on this channel for a reason. All right, let's move on to the next clip. Have you ever heard of Leonardo DiCaprio? No. Haha, <laughs> of course you have. But have you ever heard of his 25-year-old rule? You notice that every, every, uh, every harpy that's bagging on Leo about dating women under 25 is over 25, usually in their mid 35s right in their mid 30s early 40s these middle-aged women those are the only ones who are bagging on leo i don't see you notice you don't see like any 22 year olds complaining about this do you or any 23 or 24 year olds right it's only these old bags who are complaining no different than the haters in my comment section that are female right it's i don't get a bunch of like 21 year olds going hey yeah why are you dating such a young girl why are you, why are you dating some of your own age no it's all the harpies that are like my age According to this graph, Leonardo DiCaprio refuses to date anyone once they hit age 25. Mm -hmm. But it's also interesting that 25 Here we go. is when our brain reaches maturity. Does it? Okay, she says the same thing. All right, let's let's uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, so, age 25, she's saying that's when our brain reaches maturity. Yet here she is, as a middle-aged woman, on TikTok bagging on Leo, bagging on celebrities for dating women that are half her age. You know, are, are we salty a bit here? Sounds like somebody's a little salty. Sounds like somebody's a bit jealous here, right? Uh, because I don't hear these women calling out other celebrities who are dating much younger, much younger men. I don't hear them calling out like, oh, I don't know, Kourtney Kardashian, one of the Kardashians. You know all these chicks watch the Kardashians, right? Courtney is dating a guy 14 years younger than her. Hmm. I don't see them calling him them out. Or uh, how about uh, Will Smith's ex wife, um, his well, his current wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, right? Jada Pinkett Smith dating that guy Augustus that she cheated on him with. The dude was like 21 years plus younger than her. Um, I don't see them calling her out and. You know, why is there a double standard here? Why don't you call these ladies out for being creepers? You know, I don't even see any guys doing videos about the fact that, oh, you're dating this much older, younger man. No, they just leave it alone, right? Because guys really aren't jealous of that. It's like, you want to date somebody who's your kid's age, hey, that's that's on you. Um, but for these uh, older uh, middle-aged women, yeah, there's a lot of jealousy and saltiness behind this. Let's not kid ourselves. All right, final clip. I can't lie though, yeah. No matter how old Leonardo DiCaprio gets, everyone wants him. See? Like, <laughs> it's as simple as that. Says you're part of the I actually can't even lie. I'm 24. One more year. I'm in a healthy relationship, but I'm still great. I'm Nads, Nads, Nads. Shout at me, bro. I learned techniques in boxing. You can do this. So yeah, even this this young see what did I tell you guys? It's it's never the younger women, right? This this woman is twenty four years old, and she is sitting there, literally saying that she would date Leo. She's laughing about it. She's like, I don't even care how old this guy is. I'm into him. I would date him. I, I've seen Titanic, and uh, if I get to play the part of Rose in real life, I'm gonna do it. So she's twenty four. And I've seen other women her age as well be like, I don't care, I would date him. 
Oh yeah, and you know all these like middle-aged women who that we feature tonight who are bagging on these chicks for wanting to date him. Uh, if they were that age, if they were still 24, do you think they would pass up Leo? Do you think they'd be like, no, sorry, Leo, you're a, you're a creepy old man? No, they'd be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I get to be I get to be with the guy from Titanic. I get to be with Jack Dawson. They would take that opportunity too. But now, now that they're past post wall. Right, and they're well beyond their thirties, and uh, they're totally invisible to Leo. What do women do? What do I tell you, girls? What do girls? What do your besties always do to you? What do other women always do to you? They just sabotage you. So that's what these older women want to do. They want to sabotage and shame, sabotage and shame. So, however, when you talk to tar the target demographic, like Leo's target demographic, many of these women want, would love to date him. Here's one of them right here, Leo. She's 24, she would love to date you, right? And there are plenty of them out there. They're not bashful about it. It's only these older, <laughs> these older women who uh, have already passed their prime, no more SMV, that are losing their looks, that are just jealous and salty over the fact that these younger women still have the opportunity to get Leo, okay? That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. Just good old-fashioned jealousy, right? Good old-fashioned jealousy. This is why I always tell guys on my Alpha Male Secrets channel, never be jealous of another dude, okay? The second you're jealous of another dude's, like what the kind of car he has, the kind of woman he has, the kind of money he has, the kind of physique he has, you know what? You're in your feminine frame, right? You've sunken into your feminine frame. This is why I call out like male haters of mine on my, you know, on any channel, right? If they start hating on me, I'm like, dude, you're stuck in your feminine frame. You're acting no different than a chick because this is what chicks do. They get jealous of each other and then they try to pull the rug out from each, from, uh, out from, out from one, out from under one another, right? Because she doesn't want to see her date Jack Dawson. She doesn't want to see her date Leo, right? She wants herself to date Leo, but because she can't, she wants to make sure nobody can have him. That's what it boils down to the end of the day. As always, gentlemen, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to share, please drop them in the comments below. I would love to see you guys in my comments, and I always love to read your comments. So drop those comments below. As always, this is M from The 33 Secrets signing out here. Don't forget to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, smash that notification bell for me as well. Helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm, okay? Especially now that YouTube does not want to promote these red pill videos. So do it for the algorithm, do it for Cash and Gizmo, do it for my DeLorean, and uh, yeah, smash those buttons below. And for you guys that want to support my work and everything I'm teaching you here, the best way to support me is just jump into seven months of mastery. Right now it's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me. Uh, this is my program, my premier program where I teach you how to go out there and cold approach the youngest, hottest, most beautiful looking women on the planet. Talking eights, nines, and tens, women under 25, guys, just like Leo, right? And many of my students are picking up women and bringing women into their lives that, in my opinion, are far more, far hotter, far more attractive, far more gorgeous than any of the women we've seen Leo with, even though they're younger, right? Um, because Leo tends to like these uh, supermodel types that have like these chiseled features. I don't like that. Most of my students don't, don't like that. Most guys don't like that. We like soft feminine features, right? Soft feminine traditional features. Women who are cool, submissive, and nurturing and haven't been indoctrinated with all this wokeism, right? This is where, so this is my program where I teach you how to go out there and find these women and bring them into your life, right? You're gonna gain a ton of value from the, my program. Like I said, right now it's only a buck. Take advantage of it. It's the best way to support my work. All you need to do is click the link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video. Have a great night, gentlemen.